right, we're going out in Fiji. <laughs> Good morning. So you know if you watched yesterday's vlog, you would have seen that I was swimming and there was lightning going on and basically we were just swimming um, for hours and hours and, and then I met these brothers from uh, Australia and we were like, oh let's just go for a late night walk. So we went for a walk and we were walking around to the resorts and stuff next door and literally like a thunderstorm started and it just started pouring down with rain like there was so much rain that I couldn't see and the rain was like hurting it was falling on us and it was flooded and we were just like caught in the middle of it and we were running back to our resort and yeah it was so much fun but it was so chaotic and hectic so yeah we did not expect that and there was like lightning going on all of last night um, but yeah I had a crazy crazy night yesterday and I was carrying my phone in my hand and I was like oh my god my phone because it, it, it was literally like pouring down with rain I'm legit so glad that my phone actually even works today but yeah it was it was definitely really chaotic last night so today I was actually planning on going to like seventh heaven and I had this whole thing booked but because of that um, thunderstorm and the lightning and all of that this morning it was not safe to take the boat out so today I've just been chilling at the resort and now me and my dad we're gonna go and just drive to the mainland and look around so my dad is actually born in Fiji you guys so we have like the perfect tour guide to take us around today and he's the one who actually gives me all the gossip so yeah give you guys a quick room tour So my bedroom is basically like through there and I can sit in the sun and tan and it walks out to this. Next door is um, the next resort and there's like a Lebanese restaurant there which is so handy. I love it when the water sparkles like this, when the sun hits it. Glitter water! Okay. So yeah, this is my little bedroom. Me and Nana, we're sharing. We've got downstairs and upstairs. I need to get on a jet ski at some point. I love outdoor showers so much, like getting natural sunlight when you're showering. It's just so much nicer. reading these two books look at this like yesterday was lightning and a whole thunderstorm and this morning it was not safe to take the boat out and it's just perfectly sunny and beautiful now like <sighs> okay let's go out off we go random market here that we've stopped at and there's heaps of pretty flowers here. I'm good, how are you? So my mum, she's actually not feeling well. She fainted this morning and she, you know, fell and stuff and she's bruised up a little bit here. So she's actually at the hotel resting. Um, but since I'm at the flower market, I thought that maybe I'll get some get well soon flowers for my mum. My mother literally loves flowers, so this will really make her happy and cheer her up. And the flowers? Yeah. So you need to move your avocado. 
Oh, these flowers were in the movie Avatar. See, the birds, they're very like Avatar colors. Oh, okay. In Fiji, we call it the sexy thing. Okay. So the director of the... Avatar. Of Hollywood, he came to Fiji, mm -hmm. the Pacific show. He found this, uh, this uh, flowers. And then he and put it in the movie? And he put it in the movie, like the birds, the big birds in Avatar, and the colors oh. of the big trees, you know? Okay. Colors of Avatar. So this is what we call it. So dig it, so dig it up, it's kind of fun. What do you guys call it, sexy? Sorry? What do you call it? Sexy pig, we call it sexy pig. Six, sexy pig. Sexy pig. pig. Uh, crabs. Crabs uh, bite, you know the crabs bite? Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I definitely know about the crabs yeah. bite, yeah. yeah. So that flower there, it's called crabs bite. And literally when I was little, a crab, I was playing on Plantation Island and a crab, I was picking it up and it bit my finger and and the crab's hand literally just uh, broke off the crab and the crab scurried away. Uh, I remember my uncle and my dad, they were trying to get the crab's uh, claw off me. But it was literally so painful, it was like just crushing um, my bones. So I had no idea, uh, I had no idea that the uh, grip of the crab's claw was that strong. Okay. Ten people, they came to Fiji, uh, they came to the Pacific and they didn't pay me the war. They bring this kind of flower for the oh. Thai team. Okay. It's called a what? A hanging? Hanging garden, a hanging flower of Babylon. So pretty. Hanging flowers? Yeah. The hanging flowers. I've never seen flowers like this vibrant before. They literally look like they're neon. So pretty. Thank you. Okay, I have lost my father, so I'm gonna try find him. So my dad wanted to buy some fish. Okay, I'm getting out of this room. Okay, so my dad's in that room and he's getting fish and there's like scales flying at me and it smells like fish, so I was like, no, I'm getting out of there, like I can't do it. Guys, this is just like a random street. Oh, stray dogs. Okay, you can't trust the stray dogs here. Oh, I think this one's fine. Okay, yeah, you gotta be careful of some of the stray dogs here because you just never know. So my freak that I low-key like walking around different people's um, houses, I just like seeing the way that like different people live. Every, every street I go on, there's like a little temple built and stuff. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are so cute. I just jumped out of the car and I followed them and we randomly just started like throwing the ball around. Bye! Bye. <laughs> so I am back at the resort and um, we made a stop. There's an orphanage in Nandi so if you ever do come to Fiji go visit the kids and give them gifts and um, spend some time with them. I didn't vlog any of that and I didn't record any of it because I just I, I don't want to invade like the children's privacy. Yeah I don't know if this is something that people know about me. All of my close friends and my family know about this but I I just like I really love children and in my lifetime like I would adopt kids and I, I definitely want to adopt kids like if I ever come across a child in my lifetime who needs to be adopted I would do it. So yeah, it's it's just something that's like really close to my heart. Hi! Bella! It's 
Friday night today, so I'm probably gonna end up going out. I just went and ordered myself like half a jug of sangria and I've and I'm gonna go for a swim and drink that down and then I'm probably gonna uh, go out tonight and that's it they say that when you're like going through a spiritual awakening you can't drink um, like your body just literally rejects alcohol I am not going through a spiritual awakening I've been done that years and years ago I think I think like my energy has changed a lot in the recent times and my body's like I can just feel my body's rejecting alcohol but yeah I've got half a jug of sangria coming my way so that's gonna be interesting lightning when the did you hear the people screaming when they saw we the lightning heard a few people screaming. when the lightning started I heard a boy by the pool he's like ah! he was like literally screaming on top of his lungs and I was like oh my days and I was like looking at it like wow this is beautiful and these guys were flipping out it was funny he turned on the music for me because he turned on the music for me because I was like I'm gonna start drinking now turn it on <laughs> I'm actually in like the party mood today. Yeah, but today I feel like being on my worst behavior. Hi, what's up? Oh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for a swim. My sangria is here. Yeah, you were playing Hindi music in the morning, right? Yeah. yeah. What was the song of, you were playing? There's a lot of intermarriages yeah. in now in Fiji. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard you. You you were what song were you playing this morning? I was standing on the balcony and this guy he was playing Bollywood music in the morning. Oh Still going with this sangria, but I needed to show you guys this. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful, I can't deal. Stunning. So I'm going to go out with the other kids who are staying here. There's some from Australia, there's some from New Zealand. I quickly just came back to the room and like freshened up, put on like some red lipstick because I've been like, I'm half a jug of sangria down. So I was like, oh, in the mirror, like being a clown. We were gonna go to Sofitel first because in Danaral, the only place that's got a club is Sofitel. And then we'll see where the night takes us. Okay, besties, let's go and have a fun night together. So, we're just chilling poolside and I'm with my beautiful Auckland girls. Yeah. I found some, <laughs> I've got some beautiful New Zealand Auckland girls with me and we're gonna go to Sofitel. Yes, Yeah. Pre-drinking. Well, I, I feel like I'm the only one pre-drinking. You guys need to like catch up. I'm about to get a drink. Your eyes look so beautiful right now. <laughs> See? This is... Auckland, Auckland girls are elite. This is why. Yeah. Guys, catch up, please. Cause... We are, we are. I'm about to go to the bar now. Okay, go. Do it, do it. Yay! We're going out of Fiji! Yay! <laughs> Cheers, girls. Cheers. <laughs> you guys, I was literally just walking past this and the water splashed on the rocks and fully just like hit me. Fill this glass up. Guys, look at this. We have got beans. Look at these girls and they're catching frogs. Biggies. Oh my Biggies. goodness. Big one, small one. <laughs> Names? That one's this super one's, big. This one's yo mama. This one's <laughs> beans. I don't know what that one is. Taco. That one's taco. Where are you guys from? This one's New, Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. I'm from New Zealand too. High five. Oh. I'm from Auckland. Same. Same. Hey. Okay, Turn bye. Day. 
Yeah. Make sure you wash your hands, okay? Yeah. yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you too. Okay. Good? We're going to South Town now. Isn't it funny? I used to play in this hotel as a kid, and now I'm going clubbing in it. <laughs>